So how do you move past family tragedy when one of your loved ones has taken their own life? You're gonna go through a whole host of emotions, grief, anger, confusion, all of those sorts of things. But you need to understand a couple of things. When someone has got to that point, they are not thinking with the same mindset that you are. So many people say they're selfish. It's got nothing to do with selfishness. It's actually the opposite. They believe they're doing the world a favor. They're not thinking clearly. And it's one of the things that you need to be able to let it go, but you need to be able to grieve and feel into it all at the same time. So how do you do that? Apply gratitude to it. And I know you're looking at me like I'm a crazed fool, but when you do it, what are you gonna find? You're gonna find all the incredible moments that you did spend with them. You're gonna remember beautiful things from them. You're gonna see things that they taught you and you're gonna remember them the way you choose to remember them. And it is going to be tough and it's going to be hard, but you have to start moving on and you have to forgive yourself because you're probably holding a level of blame that doesn't sit with you. It doesn't sit with you in any way, shape or form. I could have done more. I should have said this. I should have been more present. I should have noticed it's not like that. We're not all trained in this field and not all of them can be saved or helped. Anyone that has grappled with this, anyone that has grappled with the attempt of this will understand this pain, this anguish, this confusion, but understand you're incredible, you're amazing. Give yourself permission to forgive yourself, to love yourself and look to the future and embrace what you do have. You're awesome, stay strong.